guys, welcome back to Spank Ranch Garage. This morning is a very exciting morning. Our Holtz Forma for the working man steel 660 knockoff saw has finally came from China. And I can't wait to get this thing set up and get it into the wood. So stay with me, we'll see how that goes. So I've been looking at these Farmer Tech Holtz Formas for a while now. Uh, finally, I uh, wrangled up a buddy who was interested in ordering one with me. So we ordered a pallet of them to save money on shipping. I think this came out just below two, just below 300 bucks delivered to my door. I think it took about 45 days to get here. Anyway, this is 660 Pro. It's a 92 cc saw rated at seven horsepower, yada, 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 yada. Comes with the fuel mixer thing. Probably won't use that. Here's the power head. That's a big girl. Um, it feels pretty good, you know, by hand. I'm not a fan of this carbon, you know, the, the fake carbon stuff, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, decent air filter in it. So anyway, this is supposed to be basically a direct knockoff of a steel 660 or a 066. I think it's probably more of an 066, but I don't know. I never had one. Full wrap handle. That's kind of nice. Aluminum clutch cover. Feels really good. I, I am very impressed with this carbon coating. I mean, they did a nice job with it. I would assume it's hydro dipped. Really nice chip deflector here. Uh, that feels really good. Set of felling dogs, fairly aggressive. So it comes with the hardware to mount them as well as plastic things, which I don't know what they do yet. And it comes with a toolkit. Look at that. Carburetor tuning screwdriver, scrunch, uh, the bolts for the handle, and a Torx wrench for the rest of the saw. So that's pretty cool. Um, it is good to clarify that Holtz Forma is for the working man. So this makes me feel very masculine holding this Chinese knockoff. All right, let's put this thing together. So first thing, this, my particular saw came set up in winter mode. So they got the baffle at the bottom here. You see the snowflake. Uh, when you do that, you put the baffle down here, it's gonna draw air from up here, which comes from around the cylinder heads, warmer air, better for the winter time. But for the summer, we wanna flip this to this position. That way we are drawing cold air from around the handle that hasn't gone through the engine cooling. The instructions are whatever, you know, they're advertising a Tin Gin Walbro Carb. I don't know what that means. An Italy Meteor Piston, an Italy Caber Ring, Italy Nicosil. So this Pro model is supposed to have a real Walbro, real NGK plug, better Nicosil, better piston ring, all that. Who knows? Might just be marketing. We will see how she holds up. Nothing super um, unusual in this manual. It's probably just a knockoff of Steel's generic chainsaw manual. It's got a lot of cutting tips, how to prevent kickback, that kind of crap, how to maintain your saw. It's also got a metal skid plate along the whole bottom, which is pretty cool. It's a nice lightweight aluminum skid plate, but uh, should help with a lot of the rash when you're throwing this thing down on the ground. Okay, so it certainly is some tinkering, but the handle will go. Needs a little bit of tweaking to get everything together, but there it is. It's for the clutch cover, dog. Drop your two nuts in, they're in a recess here. And then there's these two chain guard guide things that are asymmetrical. Yeah, they're symmetrical, so these drop in. They also retain the nut, which makes this easier to you know, put together without having crap fly everywhere. 
seems to be the only tool that's not included to put this thing together is the eight millimeters for this. So I will go grab one and get that done. That's nice. So the power head is assembled. Let's put fuel and bar oil in it because I want to weigh this and see what it weighs um, as a power head and then we'll weigh it with the bar. The weird thing is it smells like gas in the bar oil tank right out of the factory, so it's like a little bit concerning, but no further questions on that. This is 40 to 1, 93 octane with clots, like dirt bike oil. Um, that's what I prefer to run. The manufacturer says run this a 25 to 1. That's absolutely ridiculous. Not happening. All right, this saw is no joke. Ready to run without a bar, 9.1 pounds. Let's put a bar on it. I'm gonna go with a 28 inch bar to start. I think it's a good size for me. Not too big, not too small. I went with this Forrester brand. They, well, they're made in China, but their shop is actually local to me. And I've had good luck with these. I have one on my 260 and it's been very good. So um, I'm gonna give them another shot. I ended up grabbing a semi chisel and a full chisel chain. We're gonna start off with the semi chisel just because I got some wood to cut that may not be as clean as you'd like it to be. Eleven point two pounds fueled up with a bar and chain. That is a twenty eight inch Forester with a semi chisel chain on it. I like the balance. I mean, you can see this thing is hanging from its handle and it's totally balanced. I just kind of did a mock little throw start of it and it feels good. So I think if you were gonna go a longer bar, you're gonna want a light bar on her, but uh, I think this 28 is gonna be a good working bar. So let's, let's try to start this thing up. Got it to fire, I don't know, it took seven, eight pulls, whatever, not bad. Runs idles really nice. I made sure she's nice and rich uh, on the high jet. And we're just gonna put her in some wood, put her under full load and get this ring seated. So let's see what happens.
probably just about a 26 inch round. We've got a 28 inch bar with these big dogs on it. Uh, this saw rips. That is impressive. Made some serious chips in not much time. This wood's fairly well aged. And uh, wow, that is a nice cut. it's the next day unfortunately as soon as I started filming this I got pulled off to go handle something else so I burned through an entire tank with the saw just cutting cookies on this 26 inch log turning it into chips it really is a beast it does a nice job one thing I'm concerned about is that it does not oil <clears throat> enough so this 28 inch bar this chain feels dry to me I ran it with the clutch cover off it is bubbling oil out the side of the oil pump you know, after, after using an entire tank, still at least a half a tank of oil in there. I think it could be using more oil. Um, so anyway, I did oil, or I did order a high output oiler for this that I will try in the future. But for now it is oiling. I just think not enough. The bar gets pretty hot. The chain gets pretty hot. Um, you know, I checked to make sure nothing was clogged, nothing like that. Just is what it is. The chain's not too tight. It moves very freely throughout the whole rotation. So. So I just cut three more cookies and it used oil, it used about half of what was left in here. And the chain just feels dry to me. It is dry. I mean, it's very minimal oil on here and it is very hot. Like I can't, I can't touch that for more than a couple seconds. So we're getting the whole bar and chain too hot, but it is oiling and it's turned all the way up. So I'm gonna have to say it's just deficient unless there's something I'm missing here. You know, I feel like with these oilers, they either work or they don't. Maybe we can have a low performer, but uh, so far that's my only complaint with this saw. through just about two tanks here i think it's time to tune this thing now get her running good i'm gonna say it's broken in so let's do that
folks. That wraps up this episode of Spank Ranch Garage. All in all, this Chinese 660 unit is a pretty good saw. I have no problem with it other than I'd like it to oil the chain more and I'm gonna rectify that with a high flow oiler. But otherwise, man, this thing runs, starts great. Very comfortable to use. It's very well balanced with a, with a full weight 28 inch bar. Like I said, if you're gonna go longer, you're probably gonna to wanna to run a light bar on it. Um, she's a ripper. That was my first cut since I tuned it, since I'm calling it broken in. Um, you know, I'm not a big chainsaw break-in guy. I think you should run these things pretty hard right out of the box, get that ring seated. Still got compression, so I didn't do too bad with it. Um, we'll see. So time will tell. You'll probably see this machine again in another video. I might do some hot rod stuff with it, but I might just use it for working uh, as well. I got a lot of wood to get ready for next winter. But anyway, if you got any questions regarding the Holtz Forma G660 Pro, post them in the comments. Thanks for watching Spank Ranch Garage.